Hi guys, uh, today I want to talk about changes to the uh, ATP paper. Uh, ATP stands for Alternative to Practical and uh, it's often the, it's called the Paper 6 uh, that you write in uh, IGCSE. Uh, a lot of schools, they don't have enough equipment basically to run the practical, uh, so they just uh, do the ATP uh, as an alter alternative. And with the new changes in the syllabus from 2016, I've noticed uh, there's something creeped in. And it seems to come in every single paper in the ATP that hasn't been there before. And it's the idea that students now have to make their own uh, uh, experiment. Okay, the Cambridge will give a problem and then uh, basically students need to tell, uh, explain back to Cambridge how they would do this experiment. Uh, it's often the last question or uh, the second to last question. And it always seems to come up with the same thing. So it says, write a plan for the experiment, whatever the question was. Uh, you must include the apparatus needed, how you can obtain the results, the instructions for carrying out the experiment, the measurements you're going to take, the precautions that you'll take to ensure that the results are reliable as possible. Uh, the graph, uh, you know, that you're going to plot, uh, it should be like a sketch, and you definitely need to label it. They, they say you don't need to do a diagram, but it's probably not a bad idea to do a diagram. Just make sure that you label it. Okay, uh, so the apparatus that you need, uh, well, you, you you could be asked for anything, really. So you just need to think about what you're going to have available to you in this laboratory. So you could have like a ruler, vernier calipers, uh, a projector, a lot, uh, sorry, projector, a protractor, sorry. Uh, a lot of students seem to forget that they need a protractor in the examination and it actually should have one in your pencil case because in the ATP, Cambridge can ask you to measure like an angle, it's there, uh, but often students seem to forget about it. Uh, uh, a pan balance for measuring mass, uh, some Newton meter, uh, yeah, Newton meter or spring meter, maybe a voltmeter or ammeter if you're doing something with electricity, some way of measuring time, so like a stopwatch or stop clock, something like that. Uh, beakers, if you need to measure some kind of volume, uh, maybe you not, might need vernier uh, cali sorry, uh, micrometer, and if you're measuring some kind of temperature experiment, well, you're definitely going to need a thermometer, or maybe even you might actually want to use a thermocouple as well, but anyway. So, uh, how are you going to obtain the results? Well, you need to think about your method or your procedure, so you need to come up with instructions that you're going to carry out the experiment, and they should be pretty easy to follow like a step-by-step -step, uh, guide as to how you're going to come up with this experiment and obviously based on the the, uh, the experiment that Cambridge has asked you to uh, kind of design. Um, okay, so uh, precautions. Uh, I've just basically ripped this off Wikipedia and it's about a control variable. So a control variable is the one element that cannot be changed throughout an experiment because its unchanged state allows the relationship between the other variables being tested to be better understood. So basically this is the things that you are going to keep the same in your experiment. So for things like uh, what value should you control, what should you keep the same in your experiment, and you just need to think about as many uh, sensible control variables as possible. So the initial temperature that you start some kind of experiment or you, you can use the same volume of some kind of liquid or you're going to take the measurements over the same amount of time or something like that. So you just need to think about what you're going to keep the same. Uh, with the graph, well, you need to make sure that the independent variables, that's what you change, goes on the x-axis and then the dependent variable is what you are measuring goes on the y-axis. So just be careful of that. Uh, and then finally, the diagram, well, it's not an artwork or a sketch, so it doesn't have to be a ma uh, an absolute masterpiece. Uh, but please use a sharp pencil, uh, nice, clear, smooth lines, uh, two-dimensional, and then make sure that you're going to label it, because, uh, you know, you might know that that's a beaker, but Cambridge is not going to clue. Uh, so please make sure that you label your diagrams, even though you might think it's obvious. Okay, guys, I hope that's been useful. Uh, good luck with the new ATP. Uh, I'm really sure this is going to come up again. Uh, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ciao for now.